So to be a, maybe a, may, it's true that maybe as a career journalism is very lucrative. Maybe journalism is less lucrative than other profession. But you know, you can't just uh, uh, simplify the whether a person should opt journalism as a subject or opt journalism as a profession only through these uh, common beliefs. Because journalism, you know, it's just like a, if you have your talent, if you have inquisitiveness in you, if you want to do something, if you want to explore something, it's already in your character. So if you want to uh, just uh, be a journalist and if you feel that you will be a journalist, then I think it will be the best profession on earth. Thank you, sir. It is a very insightful answer what I thought. Uh, my next question is to Devobani ma'am. Devobani ma'am, uh, you have a huge experience in the academic field, right, in, of journalism. Can you please share some of your thoughts and what is your vision basically on journalism as an academic career? First of all, thank you Devustuti and uh, welcome Ritu Brutu Bhattacharya on this panel. And um, we are really grateful we are having such an eminent journalist and filmmaker with us today in this Adamus University premise. Adamus University is a huge university which comprises of 120 acres of a land and where the university has been set up starting from the KG school till you go out with a postdoctorate degree. Amidst that, we have our school of journalism and mass communication. And me carrying an experience of 20 years in this education industry, I can say this subject is interesting, knowledgeable, digging and delving, and the only one subject which can actually raise the position of the society in front of you, which we academically say we are the fourth estate. Now we see we are the fifth estate, and we can actually show to the society what the wrongs and the rights it ha are happening across. Though recently there has been so ups and downs in the media world and we are prone to take out the negative things more than the positive, but I would say the students who are aspiring to come here as in the subject of journalism would uh, appreciate the fact that not only we teach here, we also give them hands-on expertise and see to that they go for a holistic 360 degree exposure and an expertise and teaching before they step into the industry interface. So it is uh, basically a convergence between the theory and the practice. Absolutely. Both should be done so that they are an industry ready 
should not say product, they, should, they are industry ready journalists who step onto the field and start working. Can you please enlighten us ma'am with the basics, what is the specialty? Because there are a lot of other institutes we know that in uh, West Bengal there are a lot of other universities as well who are giving the same UG degree in journalism, PG degree in journalism. Why a student will choose Adams University particularly for this particular course? The biggest answer to this question is the campus is so attractive that a student who is studying journalism in this campus can do the theoretical work, can go for a camera shoot, can go for a film shooting within the campus itself. There are several other colleges and universities, affiliated college where they teach uh, journalism, mass communication, other areas. But we have a complete setup with a media lab from where we can run a news channel and parallelly we have such grounds across where the students can go for a film shooting as well as a documentary filmmaking. We really do not need to go for such other spaces or higher spaces and make them go for assignments. Our campus is self-sufficient. Uh, <coughs> Rita sir. The thing is that journalism, as ma'am said, is a multifaceted field, yeah. right? Nowadays, it is not only print media or only electronic media. Social media also is a very important part yeah, in it. Yeah, very important. Right? So it holds a variety of career options. Can you please enlighten our students or the aspiring students who will come uh, to learn about journalism as a course? Can you please enlighten them about the different facets of journalism? Thank you. It's a very nice question, actually. Devubani already she told us that theory and practice is very important in journalism mm -hmm. and yes I have one regret when I'm here this is such a beautiful campus you people have and you have also state of art uh, infrastructure of a television channel also for filmmaking also so you know now what is uh, journalism is changing it's mm -hmm. changing day by day it's a now age of convergence there are a few people who ask me why I'm so interested in filmmaking. I'm a journalist. Why I'm doing film? Why I'm writing novel? People ask me. Actually, you know, now the definition of journalism is already changed. Sometimes what happens, you know, everything is divided into two parts, content and form. And we are, day by day, we are leading towards a liquid form. Everything will be in a liquid form. So day by day, we are leading to a, uh, to, a, uh, to a time where there will be no definite form. So everything will be in liquid form. Liquid form means it will be in cyber world. Mm -hmm. And wa in whatever, it's just, it will be just like a water. You can pour into a glass. And you it can will pour take into the a shape of the yeah, vessel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, this content and form will have a massive change. It's, it's a now it's a convergence, age of convergence. Yes. You can do, you can be a documentary filmmaker after completion of your journalism. You can be a, uh, a writer, document, uh, non-fiction writer. You can be a, uh, you can have your own portal, news portal. You can have your own television. Yes. Maybe it's a, in, in a very, in a few years, I think there will be individual YouTube television of a person. If you are really, people like you, people uh, think that you are relevant, then people will watch your channel. Yeah. So that theory and practice and this age of convergence will give the third dimension into our subject, journalism. So I think it's now very important that our institute should have proper, proper like Adamas University, a, a university should have a proper infrastructure, otherwise you know journalism is not you uh, if you just go through the books and you just memorize all the theories and you just put it in your answer sheet that is not journalism so for journalism you need state of art uh, infrastructure you need thoroughly uh, thorough knowledge on theory you need industry exposure so I think these three components are the most important factors for a student of journalism the three structure that sir is mentioning uh, how is adamus university giving these three structures to uh, aspiring students or the current batches uh thank you devastuti for this lovely question uh, adamus is not restricted to these three points it is much beyond that because adamus uh, 
organizes international conferences every year where they collaborate with at least 20 to 25 universities who come down to this campus and uh, we sign more memorandum of understanding and we give the students an opportunity to go for overseas exposure they go for add-on studies of late uh, some students from australia and other countries had uh, come down to our campus they stayed here for a month went for a sort of an excursion and a study tour with Shantani Ketan and those were the, all the students from the Department of Journalism from different Australian universities and we are in a tie up with several other universities where we are sure we can put the students for the exchange programs. So as Ritu Broto says that we have the state of art infrastructure, we have the campus, we have the teaching curriculum, we have the hands on expertise. I add on to the point that Adamus gives you this add-on exposures, which uh, I, as a professor, I'm sure it does not give in other uh, universities because I've been teaching in this area for the last 20 years so, and across. So I have gained uh, that bunch of information where I've seen that people strictly come, the students strictly come here, they st uh, strictly come to a certain place for media education. They take up the education and then they go out, they either work or go for a different lifestyle. But with Adamus, I don't think so. We bring in students, we give them full 360 degree holistic education, as I said before. And one is interesting point, as an academical person, I would say, it is a very natural tendency in the media world that people straight away go into the industry, start working with the industry, the practical bent. But beyond a certain point, they all have that feeling that we should now go back to the academic mm. sector and start teaching, yeah. which Ritu Bruto himself is also doing. Mm. So we are all coming back to that square four, where be beyond the uh, practical exposures and the industry interfacet, we are coming back to share our expertise with the students, where the students get interested. They also know that academics is not the last point in media journalism. It is not the last area. because. It is not like other strict subjects like, uh, say, philosophy, say Sanskrit mm -hmm. or English or uh, mathematics. That it is, this is the end. We become a teacher. We become a scientist. But media goes far beyond that. They know we learn. We go into the university. We learn. We go for industry. We bring up more expertise. Then we again come back to that same academia to share and grow up together. That's uh, I can share in a special way. Very with you. lovely answer. I think this will help the aspiring students who really yeah, wants to sure, take journalism. It should, it should. Right. So, uh, sir, uh, the question that I really have in my mind is that uh, from Adamus, the student is ready to look for the industry. Now, what kind of other preparations, rather than their formal uh, formal education, formal UG or PG yeah. in journalism, what other things they have to take up? or keep it in mind when they have to go to the industry to work for the field. I personally believe that uh, as Devavani already told us, the journalism is such a subject mm. which is not confined only in theory. This is very much, uh, the subject is a uh, very practicing and performing subject. Mm. It's a combination of both theory and the performing arts. Mm. Nowadays in journalism you have to perform. Maybe yes. you have to perform in front of the camera. Maybe you have to perform I uh, through your writings. It's yes. also powerful because whenever you interview a person, though you are in a print media, if you can't have proper exposure, if you, have, if you don't have uh, proper time to interview him, uh, if you can't attract even the politician whom you want to interview, so that's also performance. It's a perform. Even a press conference is not a press conference now, merely a press conference. People will say what is happening. You have to you have to just ask him or her the right question to have the right input from him. So journalism is a perform is a, is a combination of practicing uh, is a practicing subject is a combination of performance and theoretical point of view is a person should be very much clear about the theory of the journalism and what she had already told that it's very important 360 degree holistic okay. approach towards this subject is very important. But I personally believe, uh, besides the education, beside education, one person should think properly. One person should know what is ethically what we can do, and moreover, that a journalist who is 
the fourth, uh, I will not uh, debate it's a fourth estate, <laughs> uh, fourth pillar of the state or the fifth, fifth pillar, pillar of the pillar. state, <laughs> but it's, we are also mm -hmm. responsible, we are responsible for, uh, for our shaping our society. So a person should be very much honest and a person should be very good by heart. And I personally believe without a broad hearted person, one cannot be a good journalist. I hope most of the viewers who are watching this, they would make it a note that a person should be very, very honest, right, in the field of journalism. Can you, ma'am, please talk about ethical journalism? Is there still a term there, ethics in journalism? Because we are in so much of debate on it, in the standing in the current situation, I would really like to ask you. E this ethics uh, really exists? This word ethics is very, very heavy, right? So journalism, when it at all started with the print media, that was pre-independence, pre 1947, before 1947 when it started, it was just said that pen is mightier than the sword. And those people who had come down to on this field, publication with papers and all, and they had the paucity of money, but they carried on. There were change of hands with Raja Ram Mohan Roy starting with Hickey mm -hmm. and these people, they actually had done that to spread the news across the country and to make us free, yes. to be an independent country from the hands of the British and other invaders which happened. But post-independence with the establishment of the Constitution of India, this practice became privatized. Yes. And once it is privatized, you cannot bank on the sub topic or the word ethics. You cannot do I it. I must add one thing. Nehru once, uh, once uh, uh, he remarked that uh, Jude journalism, because at that time, after independence, the media is a privatized uh, and, privatized and uh, all the Jude uh, mill owner, they have their own media. Mm -hmm. So Nehru once said that Jude journalism, because all the, the owners, are th the, they are the owner of the Jude mills. Jude. And this is a really a wrong to for us because we can use this in our class this, to yes. educate the students, those who are not watching. We can give feet. this example. Yeah, we, we set an example of this. And it is true that post-independence, we have all become very privatized. Yes. And we depend on our owners, where they are banking on, which area they are banking on, which uh, uh, political party they are getting support from, which political party is ruling. Right now, the elections are on the shoulders. So now... Uh, with Fulma, Fulwama happening a few days back, we losing so many Jawans who are protecting our country. Then with the special case of Gauri Lankesh a hmm. few months back, yes. there has been such an upheaval in our country. Then again, recent past, we know about the retrenchment of the Telegraph uh, people that uh, I think around 400, 450 people would be hmm. uh, taken out from the company because uh, the group is thinking that uh, the profit is not in recruiting people, but the profit, the advertisement and the business is on a separate parameter. So together, actually, if we go on for a debate, we cannot say that we are going with the word ethics in the truest sense of the term. So it is uh, getting diluted. I think Ritu Brutu can throw some light on us. Yes. Yeah. I personally believe that uh, we can't judge in that way because we are in a a threshold of a new age in journalism, a new brave world is waiting for us because you know, even uh, if you have a very good infrastructure, if you have a very good state of art infrastructure in a television uh, channel, but if you are lying in front of the people, maybe one day will come that people will understand that all these things are paid news and nothing, it's a fake news. But a person without anything, only have ethics and one camera, one studio, one light and he is delivering day by day the news which people want to know and this uh, news is full of truth. Then I personally believe after a few years people will watch him or her who is giving with who don't have enough money, a good studio, a state of art studio but people will watch him because sometimes content matter and I personally believe uh, with the invention of new technology uh, technologies, what will happen? The journalism will be much more easy, easy in technological, technologically, but ethical and content-wise, it will be much more, uh, much more, you know, uh, uh, rich. Even okay. uh, what happened uh, in, in ancient era, 
Socrates used to tell the right thing, but the emperor philosopher, who are the paid philosopher, they said the, just the opposite thing. Oh, so, but now what happened? We don't even know the name of that uh, paid philosophers which the emperor kept to, uh, to, uh, to just uh, suppress Socrates. But all of us, we know Socrates because he is full of truth. I think ethics is very important. Though we are in such an era where we are hardly practice ethical journalism, but the new brave world is coming. So what message will we give ma'am to our <laughs> students? <laughs> that so is. as per uh, Ritobrutu says that we have to believe in Coleridge's, according as per Coleridge's poem that the blue sky bends yeah. on all. Yes. And uh, <laughs> ethics is the main thing ultimately. Yeah. Though we are residing in Kaliug where uh, the negative is more larger in volume and the positive is lesser in volume, but we are still uh, banking on such a big, and we are having such a big journalist with us who knows the in and out of journalism the ground journalism. So we have to come to the conclusion that, uh, okay, ethics is still there and one fine morning, the sun will rise in its natural course and we will start, you know, saying that, yes, the truth has all come out and we can yes. teach the students what the reality yeah. is. Yes. Is that it? Yeah, yeah absolutely, so. absolutely. So in this era, when we are calling it a digital journalism era, right, where it has revolutionized the entire communication scenario, but where we are again discussing, we are holding conferences on fake news, which are the negativities yeah. of it. So uh, can you please uh, tell our aspiring students, can you please tell our viewers uh, about this era, digital journalism, how newsroom works? Because uh, we know that there is a concept came integrated newsroom. Yeah. So can you please uh, highlight on it and if a student needs to be prepared for working in the digital journalism era, how will they prepare themselves yeah. for? I personally believe the technological invention, it uh, always makes us more comfortable, working comfort to comfort is there. But you know, I will just uh, repeat the same thing, content and form. Form is changing, but the content is the same. same. We have to show our, we have to give the best content. Content matters. Mm -hmm. Form is changing, mm -hmm. but still, uh, you know, the fake news is already there. Yellow journalism is already it was in, it was there when the print in uh, in the print journalism. So fake news will be there. Paid news will be there. Yeah. The form will be changed. The coin is, I mean, the uh, the jargon will change, but the, it will remain the same. And there is always white and black, good and bad. So all these things will, will be there. But nowadays, challenge of a journalist that they should know the technology know-how. And we have integrated in, a, in, a, in all, all over the world, in even the Huffington Post, one of the most celebrated newspaper and most popular newspaper, uh, Huffington Post. It was turned digitally in 2010. We uh, uh, before 2010. Now it is what happened. Even the major newspapers, they are al already, uh, they are shifting from print to digital. They give them more emphasis on digital media, because digital media that form is very lucrative. That form you can even use your mobile phone, your smartphone, to know the news. You don't have to go uh, to the uh, to the bazaar and have a uh, to pick up a newspaper. So. Nowadays everything is simplified, but the challenge is that we should know and we should practice, and we should be uh, we should be uh, in that way. I, I would like to say that a person should who is in journalism now, he should know how to use all the technological inventions, and he or she should be updated each and every time. So he or she can work in an integrated newsroom. Integrated newsroom is nothing; it's a newsroom where the news, the content is coming. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that if we don't know the trick of the trades, we don't know the uh, studio, then we can't, we can't perform there because you know the form is changing. A person have to write, nowadays a journalist should be like that, a person should write in a print newspaper, a person can give the piece to camera, P2C, yes. a person can uh, do an anchoring like you. Yeah. And a person should know how to 
uh, how to put it in digital medium mm -hmm. even uh, without even without photographs mm -hmm. so yes. integrated newsroom is like that whatever may be the form the content the content will be there one content and there will be different form so it's very important uh, to know uh, and to learn uh, the tricks of the integrated newsroom and new uh, invention of the and be updated uh, in in different kind of digital media in ref uh, <laughs> keeping in mind the vistuti i would like to adorn with ritobrotho what he yes. said that this is the actually industry interfacet thing which he is adding on yes. for our curriculum over here yes, I we would like we, to ask you the same we thing. have an open umbrella yes. you know what is an open umbrella with right. the different spokes so each spoke is a part of the medium that yes. is journalism which is into three parts print television radio then we have public relations we have corporate yes. communications we have advertisement we have social media which is the most rampant media right now even film is uh, film is also a, one of the spokes film is divided into fiction and non fiction mm -hmm. so a student who is coming into uh, studying media studies or maybe in a specified department like journalism and mass communication has always this these platter of areas where he or she can pursue in the near future as per his or her choice right. yes so it is been offered by admus <coughs> university also but yes. they have to as a convergence they will study everything then they can finally go for an area of interest and pursue and uh practicing on that career yes. and we add on we have an inter, we have an internship cell and a placement cell where we tie up come to this with good Now, companies uh, yeah. as we could serve us talking about social media digital media can you please ma'am mention the course structure or can you please help us understanding how social media is added because it is now the important medium the most significant medium in adams university's journalism syllabus and can you please highlight about the different courses that uh, you people give in the yeah we course. we have uh, undergraduate three years undergraduate degree with okay. um, the people who are pers pursuing in the masters they have a two years degree and uh, we have a platter of uh, subjects Yes. across both the genres mm. because remember something as we went when we were students we did not have the undergraduate journalism as per our syllabus yes we came from different streams english bengali other streams and we came into in, interdisciplinary and came yes. into journalism as masters yes. but right now the structure has changed a yes. student who is pursuing undergraduate post, uh, journalism can often come into postgraduate journalism mm. so right. keeping that in mind we have a different setup of syllabus yes. that master degree syllabus should be critical should be more analytical what are the should courses you generally teach in master we degree we teach uh, television we teach uh, uh, radio we bring in industry people from radio like rita brotho we have people here from uh, television. television we have jimmy tangri over here then uh, we teach them television film making we teach them how to make a documentary then of course the groundwork of making them learn mass communication which is the abcd of media they have to go through that because without the abcd they are not being they will not be competent enough to frame a word so they have to go through that so those are the subjects then we go for web content we go for social media Yes. Right now we are on the platform of social, social media. media and because of this only thanks to social thanks media to, that thanks to FB and thanks to social, social media, media that so many students so in bulk are watching us and so many people in bulk are watching us they have the privilege to do that which yeah. 10 years back was not available so we can reach to them yes. in minutes in minutes we can reach to them so these this is a brilliant opportunity which Adams University provides standing on this platform to the students of journalism and mass communication and remember one thing that uh, this is one subject which actually welcomes any student from other sections like commerce graduate can come into journalism masters, masters. economics can come into journalism english of course can come into journalism science with background science they can come into journalism we are actually welcome welcoming all with wide down so that we can fit in them into their passions it has happened regularly right the uh, like uh, singer anupam roy who was an engineer from jadavpur mm. and then switched his career into music completely music. one of my old students orko mukherjee who was with another institute where i used to teach then i uh, had joined the campus and had asked me the first question ma'am i want to make a band i want to become a singer can i do that studying media so orko yes. mukherjee is a renowned figure right now as a singer 
So we are all our media. Inspiring. So we, we give them inspiration. Yes. And since we have performance art also, which is a very primitive art, and uh, which is uh, which is based on stage. Ritu Bruto, I think, will second with me. It's a ba stage based yeah. thing, performance yeah. art. Yes. We give we give freedom to those areas also, so that students can uh, learn, and they can. What should I say? Furnish their talents. Even Adamas also. University, I think they are giving subjects like folk media. Folk media. Then de we have development communication, which talks about communication growing up from all areas, all through. And folk media. Folk is now related to music. Yes. Folk is, was almost a lost medium, which right. is once again coming back. No. In a, It is getting tied up with the modern form. It is coming back. Yes. And then different areas of like, Topics which are being regularly discussed these days, storytelling sessions. As you said, there was Tuti about the digitized area. Storytelling yes. is digitized. Yeah. Now it is digital storytelling. Digital yes. storytelling. Yes. How far it is uh, affecting the children? How yes. far it is affecting the youth? Because they don't have grandmas and grandpas mm. anymore yes. to tell them stories. But yes. still they're uh, feeling that kin to listen to the stories of Takuma Juli or maybe... Uh, the uh, uh, stories from Aesop's fables and all, you know, they still listen to that in a digitized area. So yes. journalism, it's not journalism, it's mass communication. It is media across which gives a wider platform for the students to grow up with a lucrative career. Of course, money is important and other specialized areas. Uh, film, as because we are talking about film, that is also a very important paper. Uh, so the I think the most interesting area, if the student comes, so as because sir is here, who is also an eminent filmmaker, sir, can you please tell if the student is suppose pursuing journalism and mass communication, undergraduate or postgraduate, whatever maybe it is, if that person wants to be a filmmaker or a documentary maker in the end of this station, what things that person should need to develop, or how you will inspire them to do this? It's a very, uh, it's a very lovely question for me because you know, uh, I personally believe just go through the Mopasa, Balshak, mm. even the other, uh, even uh, I can uh, give you so many names in uh, literature, mm. who started their career as a journalist, then they turned as a writer. Okay, why? Because a journalist will have a vast experience, vast experience. He can, he can meet to a person who is a pavement dweller. He can meet also a person who is the governor of a state. Mm. So a journalist has, uh, he or she will have uh, plenty of experience, yes. even in film also. A film is nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a reflection of uh, a society. Right. It's something which is already exists in our society. And a person should be very much uh, imaginative. He or she must have imagination. So I personally believe a journalist can be a very good filmmaker. As for example, all the greatest documentaries, uh, documentary filmmaker, non-fiction filming, they are from journalism background. Because a person who is doing a story, documentary on Baghdad, who have covered the Saddam Hussein era or Baghdad, uh, war in Baghdad, he or she will be the best person to do a documentary. And I personally believe a journalist can be always be the best documentary filmmaker because he or she knows the subject very well. Even in journalism, even I think in your uh, syllabus also, in, in curriculum also, uh, you have the basic uh, filmmaking principle yeah, is yeah. already yes, yes. there. Yes. So you know, you know, form is not important. As for example, from Star Anand, I used to work in a channel which is no more exist because the name is changed. changed. So <laughs> from that channel, I have covered Boshan Tutshab in Shantini Ketun more than eight times. Okay. okay. But there are so many stories which I can't uh, express in, in life or I can't do a package, I mean package story for television. So I wrote a complete novel on it. So novel already published. Then I think even in the novel, the color of festival is not there. So I have done my film. So now in the age of convergence and in this age, the form doesn't matter, the content matter. And I personally believe a journalist, a student of journalism can be a very good filmmaker either in fiction or in non-fiction. That is also a very lovely and interesting information, <coughs> information for, for the, for us, for the for students us. also keeping the them students. in mind. 
keeping them in mind. Yes, because many people generally tells us na, ki, that why uh, we want to do film. So, will we take journalism yeah. or will we take film studies yeah. only? As for music also, we take, we yeah. study media then, can we go into music? Yes. We uh, study media then, so can we switch our career into photography? Hmm. Be a freelancer or, uh, uh, this re this reminds me of a small story. Uh, Shubrata Potranubish, a very famous yeah. photographer, Rita Brata, would yeah. be knowing from yeah. Statesman. He had once been to uh, Kargil during that war and uh, he had three to four uh, Jawans, the military soldiers uh, with him. So he knocked on the door of a house and he said that uh, uh, the woman who opened up the door, he said, do you have a small child in your house? So she said, yes, will you bring him out? So the woman uh, absolutely flabbergasted, she got her son. Yes. who was barely two, two and a half years old. Mm -hmm. So uh, Patsar, who fondly we call him Patsar. So Patsar said, okay, now give me the child and I will take a photograph of his. So the woman naturally was very insecure and vulnerable and she said, no, I can't do that. So he said, okay, I'm here. So there is no point of uh, vulnerability. And so he took the child and, put, and he kept the child on the lap of the Jawans. And he yes. clicked a photograph and we also heard the story from Pat Sir that the next day it was published, which only signified that the Jawans do not only take care of the country, they take care of the families, the children, and each and everyone staying in our country. Yes. So it only specifies that photograph speaks a thousand words. Yes. Yeah. So photograph is also a passion uh, profession yes. for the students who can study the basics of journal mass communication, journalism, whatever it is, and then go for photography as in a profession. Ma'am, how much weightage you people give in photography subjects like photography or filmmaking, documentary filmmaking in Adamus Journalism Department syllabus? See, we teach photography in Adamus undergraduate uh, uh, level, I think semester three we start off with that mm. and it continues till the last semester. Okay. For postgrad also, uh, we can say from the second semester itself, we start hampering on that word photography, the theories of photography. Then as per the theory goes, the practical goes parallelly so that they get a visualization of how to do. And we are in the process of making a photography club where the students are participating. They are uh, volunteering themselves and uh, they would register the club. And then we are uh, actually moving towards making exhibitions, throwing so exhibitions. So it is giving a scope for the extracurricular, extracurricular activities. activities. Media is full of extracurricular mm. activities yes. and these areas are the specialized genres where they can harp on that's it yes talking about public relations where most of the people they want now to go to public relations or advertising and take them as the career so sir and ma'am i will this question is for both of you can you please enlighten those students who really want to go uh, and take corporate communication per se as their field or public relations or advertising as their career options? Now, I personally believe uh, journalism is a very important branch of social science also. Yes. And in a society, we have so many things. Yes. Even in as a reporter, somebody is covering the doctor's bit, it's a, it's a, I mean the health bit. A person is covering the um, uh, high court, it's a legal bit. A person is covering the police bit. So what happened, you know, in a newsroom, it's very, very much common that a person who is covering the police, I have my colleague, Oyon, he is a police, he is a very young, energetic reporter. He covers police. His attitude, his uh, choice of words, everything is very much police and defense and force related. Even a person, I know, I have a very good friend who is in health beat. He is all, he is talking like a doctor. Mm -hmm. So always what happened, you know, in journalism is a varied subject. Mm -hmm. And we have to cater the whole society. Mm -hmm. And public relation and advertisement is a very important branch of, if you think journalism as a branch of social science, then public relation and advertisement, is a, it plays a very major role in society. Because advertisement is, you know, even for a media advertisement is, you know, bread and butter. Okay. Yes. And so revenue generator. Revenue, revenue generator. Generate 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 sponsors. And peer is, you know, is very important. Communi corporate communication is very important. I know so many people who are very good businessmen. They, they are very good entrepreneur, but they don't know how to express themselves into media so they can reach to the mass. So the professionals 
who are uh, really good in corporate communications or public relation or advertisement they are playing major role in the industry so journalism in one hand they are uh, they have a major role in media mm -hmm. on the other hand they have major role even in industry and business uh, I second Rito Bruto, absolutely keeping in mind the word PR which means public relation this uh, the utilization of this word starts from one's own home how you develop your relationship with your parents with your elders with your siblings with your friends then you get into a much bigger periphery mm. so this is the prime space and as we fondly say that Narada used to be the PR yes. personal mm. he actually did a liazo from the heaven to the hell and then to the earth and yes. he kept on transmitting messages from this point to yes. the uh, other. So PR today in, a conver in the midst of convergence in a digitized area, in a modern area, where he, we really don't have a glimpse of mm. Narad. We know him because of mythology, because of the Vedic uh, eras and all. We yes. know him in stories. We have, none of us have seen him as a human being, but we yeah. all know that he was the best public relation okay. personal. So public relation is the basic. Mm. Yeah. If your communication is correct, if you don't create a noise while communicating, you are in a correct uh, liazo with a person, then PR is automatically developed and this will help a student to learn as per the syllabus and also go into the industry and create his or her own area of work. And from there, once the network is set, he or she can go even into the even management. Even yes. management is a rampant business today. That is again a, again a big uh, genre yes. and where network and public relation is the primary level. Without this, they will never be able to set up. So Adamus University also pays 100% attention to give the basic training to the students to understand PR yes. and communication. because. Lack of communication leads to noise. Yeah. Yes. And when the noise is created, a cloud comes in between and it breaks the entire communication system and the setup. So the primary thing, as a teacher, I would always say, they should harp on building up the word communication, learn to know what is communication, learn to know how to communicate, and learn to do correct communication. Right. Because we are always in the midst of noise midst of wrong communication, one small fake news can create a furor in a WhatsApp today. Yes. One small fake news can create a furor across the new newspapers. Mm -hmm. So that is not very healthy for the students fraternity. Yes. They grow up with a negative feeling. Okay. So the PR and communication in the right dimension gives the only correct, uh, what should I say, the vista to the students. Uh, the connecting question that goes with this is about the placements in the industry, right? Because public relations, corporate communication, so it always comes to our mind ki, uh, if a student is doing Chaloki's uh, UG or PG, after that, what is their scope for placements, how internships see, that all the students are looking for and how Adamus is assisting yeah, these see, things? See, Adamus, uh, as I said, right in the beginning, it gives a holistic approach Right. A 360 degree feel. The students who are aspiring for industry, they can always walk up to the industry, hmm. work there, enhance their expertise and come back into academia. Yes. But there are several students who would cross the postgraduate level and start their career as a teacher into the education industry. Yes. For them, Adibus has got a school called Professional Studies yes. where they actually help them to go through the College Service Commission examinations, the NET and the SET. Which so is that not present in other, other universities. Other universities. This is not present in any of the university or maybe affiliated colleges. Yes. And in this, a student coming into UG media, goes into the PG media, then goes into for NET SET uh, coaching, professional studies, and then he or she can either get a job as a visiting faculty or as an assistant professor in the campus itself or maybe outside the campus or overseas because already he or she has certain elements in the kitty which others do not. Yes. I said it's a holistic thing. You start from the KG school and you end up with a doctorate. Right. And the media 
department also provides with uh, research scholars okay who are pursuing phd in this so what department. are the aspects on which a, a scholar can do phd doctorate uh, see this subject is open to all yes so we try not to become interdisciplinary we try to make them harp on their subject Medium itself specific. the content itself yes. but there are certain people who come from with economics background or maybe a finance background yes. and they or a film background they have to relate that subject with the communication core paper and they can of course develop a topic and work on it for four years and admis uh, since it is affiliated uh, with ugc it's under ugc so we go through a proper uh, mode of coursework and then they complete their phd from here so but i think uh, uh, i think a very important uh, uh, information is already missed we have missed it because we have uh, such a fantastic faculty here like devavani and you that should mention <laughs> <laughs> thank you ritu for thank you so for much for the comment <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are trying we are trying uh, of course we are into that uh, mode we are trying to energize our students and give them a better vision because today's newspapers yeah. are coming up with only violence and the wrong deeds which yes. are generally demotivating them and we don't want to do we don't want to harm the energizing factor of the students and you know their aspirations and their dreams we yes. want their dreams come true Oh, thank yes. you. Thanks. <laughs> we are in the verge of ending this uh, show. Just I would like to uh, ask, sir, or I would just like to leave you a comment for the for our viewers actually about this journalism as a career and journalism, uh, the scope of journalism, basically a last message for our viewers. Now, I personally believe uh, uh, I personally believe journalism is one of the best profession on earth because it's not only a profession. it's also a lifestyle and i think journalism can play major role to building society to building nation and journalist and journalism has you know sky is the limit so as a profession it's you know it's a it's a lifestyle and as a profession it's most enjoyable because i have met so many journalists around the world who are just virtue of ending their life but they are all of them are very satisfied because they are the witness of the time so i personally believe to be a journalist is you know it's it, it's a chance it's a chance and no it should be the last word yeah it's it a should last be word. the last word it should be the yeah. last we word. should highlight it in bold <laughs> we should highlight in bold that keeping other professions in mind this should be the last word yes ma'am your last message i would <laughs> like last to. message i would say that for the students who are aspiring to become a media professional or who are still in the midst of the cloud that what is journalism what should we do we know that we are getting into that <coughs> subject but come on what would be the end line this is the one and only profession which gives you an avenue of areas and adamus gives you that 360 degree scope and helps you to fulfill your aspirations see you all in adamus and this was a lovely session where we met rito broto and devastuti thank you so much thank you so much to our guest of honor yeah, thank you devastuti and all are welcome to adamus hope we see you soon thank you so much good night thank you so much hello here sir